Hello friends. Welcome back. In previous video we have seen how to design a water level controller using ultrasonic sensor and ESP32 in Wakwi simulator. In today's video we are going to see how to integrate home assistant with this water level controller using MQTT protocol. We keeping the hardware design same as previous project. We are using micro python based code to implement this. In the code we have imported important libraries like machine network and MQTT etc. Here enter the SSID and password of your Wi-Fi network. Enter the parameters required for the MQTT protocol. I have used the broker.mqtt-board.com as broker. And topic for publishing message as status backslash out. Define pins for ultrasonic sensors LEDs and relay as per design. Here the Wi-Fi network is set. Here the MQTT network is initialized and connected with the broker. The client is subscribed to the broker over the topic status backslash in. The call back function message is called to receive the messages from the broker. In this function the relay for driving motor pump is operated as per the commands from home assistant. In the main loop the messages arriving from brokers are checked. The distance measured by ultrasonic sensor is stored in the distance variable. The measure distance function gives distance in centimeters. Here the logic for water level controller is implemented. The message is built with information about water level and pump or motor status. And then this message is published to the broker. This code link is given in the description. Now let us start the simulation. Now the Wi-Fi is connected and the ESP32 client is connected to the broker. The low level LED is on and motor is running. Let us go to the home assistant. Here I am using Windows Portable Home Assistant version. Which you can download from this link. Now login into the home assistant account. Go to settings. Click on devices and services then click on add integrations. Type MQTT here and click on MQTT. Enter the broker name and keep port as 1883. And click on submit. Now the home assistant is connected to the broker. Let us open the config YAML file present in the path as shown. Add the statements as shown in the file. Here the water level and pump or motor defined as sensor. And the topic is status slash out. The switch is configured to be operated from home assistant UI and topic is status slash in. Save this file. In home assistant click on overview. Then click on add card. Give title name as water level controller. Select the entities as water level pump and switch and assign the appropriate icons to them. After saving the entities, let us go to UI again. Here you can see, switch is in off position, pump is on, and water level is low. Same status is available on Wakwi simulator, now the water level is low and motor is on. Let us see home assistant UI. So here pump is on and water level is low. Let us change the value of ultrasonic sensor to the value. More than 150. Now water level is at mid stage. And motor or pump is on. Go to home assistant. Water level is at middle state. Vary the ultrasonic sensor value to more than 400. 
so water level is high and motor is off. Check Home Assistant UI. Change ultrasonic sensor value to the state where middle level LED turns on. Now from Home Assistant UI we will turn the switch on. Now check motor status on Wakwe simulator. Motor is turned on. Note the pump status here. Now we will turn the switch off. Now you can see the motor is turned off. So that's it for today. In today's video we have see how to integrate the home assistant with water level controller. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video then please hit like button. Please share this video with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks and have a good time.